Hi everybody, Cindy here with Pathways Homestead and as you can see behind me, it is burning season. And if you don't know, we are in the Kansas Flint Hills and God made this part of the earth to burn. There are so many benefits from burning. Um, weed control, um, there's also nutrients and things that get put back into the, to the earth if you've been studying biochar that works here as well in the flint hills and god designed this ground to be burned the native americans discovered hundreds of years ago the native americans discovered that if they burned the ground the grass was came back stronger and better for the buffalo so they began the tradition of burning the prairie years and years ago and if you can look look back into the Laura Ingalls Wilder books Little House on the Prairie the Native Americans burned the prairie and yeah Laura's family got caught in the crossfire of that literally but he but here we do it safely now attempt to do it safely most ranchers are very 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 I would say all ranchers are very very considerate of their neighbors they um, their ultimate goal is health and protection of their neighbors ab above all else so some years if conditions aren't right they don't get a burn this year conditions are right almost every year there's at least a day or two where they can get their bur their burning done got lots of neighbors coming by on the highway but they are burning down here behind me as you can see and we'll have lots and lots of clips of burning today but one of my favorite things and in the springtime is the burning because I know it's spring and it's time to get the garden planted and time to get working in the in the ground it is burning season and they're gonna burn the section to the west of us so I'm gonna try to get some footage of Gary and them coming through burning um, and that'll help a lot lots of gawkers lots of people that drive around and watch and get in the way <laughs> but yeah we're gonna get some video of them burning today and watch it go up so they've got what you're seeing in the back let me get my finger out of the way what you're seeing in the distance that black is where they started that that's a mile away that first band of black is a mile away and then two miles away is the second band of black so the wind is from the east it's pretty gentle and this way they are doing what's called a backfire so this line let me get my finger out there this line right across here this first black line is their backfire and they're going to um, have that as the protection to keep it from jumping and burning that pasture where there's cows they're coming up the road here you can see them you can see them coming up just on the other side of this post. You can see the the um, rangers coming up, dropping fire. All right, they're still coming this way, slow and easy. So they'll burn. Let's see, if I'm gonna back it up here. Okay, this is the real view. They're gonna burn this whole mile section. They're gonna come along here. And light fire okay that first belt of black that is the um, backfire that is where they've already burned to have their their extra line of protection you can see there are some cattle in that next pasture but the pasture past them which is a whole nother mile maybe two away has been burned so um, to protect those cows, they have set a fire, what's called a backfire, and they're setting that fire, and that way it can't, the wind is pushing it to the west. We're, we're standing on the east end of this section, and the wind is pushing it to the west. So that's what's called a backfire, and it'll get it covered and put itself out. So. They went along everything that burned down there on the road and put it out so so it wouldn't jump up, jump on the other side of the road. 
focusing on is that slow moving little ranger coming up the way there, burning real slow, lighting the ditches. Somebody's coming in behind them with water to make sure that they put out what comes along the road so that it doesn't jump and burn a pasture not intended to burn like this pasture here next to it. But see up this tall grass here? Even though it's on the other side of that road, the wind can carry sparks and that dra grass is dry enough that it will catch. So they've got somebody with water behind them trying to prevent that. There aren't any cattle over here. And the, the family that owns this, the neighbors that own this, they typically burn it as well. <clears throat> Some poor soul has drugged that fire stick for three quarters of a mile. And They got the staging area at our house. So they're gonna come up here. And as you can see, Gary's in the very last ranger and he is bringing up the rear, making sure the fire doesn't jump the road. <laughs> so they'll come here to our house and refill everything get all the tanks filled back up we got some water tanks on the back of this Dodge truck on the left we'll get everything filled up so I was videoing and this handsome man come along who was it and picked me up and now I'm riding in a Ranger and we're going down the side of the road and looking for hot spots to put them out we don't want it to get in that yeah, don't want it to get across the road in this, you know, I showed you the grass earlier, how tall it was against the, on the other side of the road. So they're really wanting to keep it contained and not get in that grass. This is our fire guard. Yep. Yeah, I explained. It. Yeah, I did. Explained the whole backfire and fire guard. It was poor Mr. Kenny, not Gary, having to walk the mile, <laughs> starting the fire. Wait, I was halfway down the mile before they even showed up. Oh my goodness, burning already? Yeah, we had that whole side burnt and half of this side burnt. Oh they goodness. Got here.
All right, so they went down to the other side of the corner, down to that southwest corner, and are burning back up. A mile away, coming across the pasture, and then they're gonna come down the highway and meet back up with this little piece right here that's burning across the highway. Almost made it up to the corner and then they'll be coming down the highway. Let's see by the smoke trail or about we're gonna be just a little bit ahead of that smoke trail. So they're almost to the corner. I'm gonna be coming back down the highway. This piece that they left burning at the corner's gotten pretty good a pretty good ways. Look at that spot taken. They've crossed, they came across the corner already. I missed that.
Well, as you would guess, I got busy and some things happened and I wasn't able to complete videoing them burning the pasture behind me. So I'll just finish the video off by showing you guys what it looks like now after they've burned. There is a pretty good patch right up here that didn't burn. There's a pretty good patch up here in this corner that didn't burn, but the rest of the mile section burned really, really well. All right, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Have a blessed day.